I want for you to know what you could expect from me in this next few weeks. One is a video a week. I am gonna be releasing a video once a week on Sundays. I chose Sunday because I feel like it's a day, you, for me, it's always been a day of family, of doing and going out with family. And it also gives me a chance that if I am going to be with my family on Sunday, I could plan ahead of time. And, you know, just have in my mind that habit of posting it on Sundays. There might be times where I make more. However, there will not be times where I'll make less. So that's a stretch for you, but we're going to do this. I got this. I've. One of the things I've been doing is um, writing a letter to myself. And this is not new because it's something I do. I write letters to my future self, to my younger self. I also write letters to past life I row. Um, but that's a story for another day. I like doing gratitude letters just FYI's and it's crazy because now that it's more of an assignment a homework for me to do what I realized while writing one of the letters to five-year-old Irel the way I wrote it was the way I remember my intuition talking to me at that age <clears throat> So it created the, I don't know what's the proper name of it, but the infinity symbol in my mind. A few years ago, I was in hypnotherapy. And I remember thinking, well, I remember explaining what I was seeing. And I kept seeing the infinity symbol. But... I wouldn't just see it like I could feel, I could sense what it was telling me without ever really hearing a voice or, or anything. But I was basically being told there's no past, there's no future, there's just now. So past and future, yes, but in reality it's just now. It's a circle, no, no beginning no end just the present right the past the future just the present that connection that twist in time that connection of our the circle that's that little part and that is present. That's where we're at right now. <clears throat> so writing that letter, feeling like I'm in the future, which is reality, the, in reality, the present. And at the same time, <clears throat> I'm writing to the past, to my younger self, which I was writing it in the point of it being present as well. And <clears throat> it just finally clicked years later, but it finally made sense to me. And I've known, I've said it quite a few times actually that it's been in the present, but I've come to realize that I spend a lot of time detached, a lot of time detached either focus on the past or focus on the future and not here, not here with you, not here with those who love me, not here with me. And this, this right now is what matters. Not the past, although we should understand it and it's absolutely important but let's not live there and not the future. 
Is it important? Absolutely. But again, we're not there yet. And it's about enjoying the, the journey and enjoying the present and acknowledging where we're at and just feeling. With that, I also understood accepting, ac accepting help, asking for support and how it's true. It makes us feel so good when we give it. It makes me feel good when I'm able to support someone else, when I'm able to help someone else. And that's because that person has given me the privilege to support them. And it's, it could be in any type of way as me feeling important for you to call me to be there for you. Me feeling grateful that you thought about me when you were going through a challenging time. Me feeling special that you gifted me something. But it's that emotion, it's that gratitude. It's that feeling of, wow, you called on me. You counted on me and it feels so good. And for so long, I've been the type of person who's, I'll do it on my own. I got it, I'll figure it out. I'm so accustomed to this I don't even ask for help. It's, I don't ask for support. And I never thought about it. Like, I do not think it's something bad to ask for support. I just realized I don't do it. And that's, that's not acceptable to me anymore. And to the person I'm trying to become it's not. And to that younger version of me, it doesn't serve her anymore. It never really did. And now me being in the presence of my future and my past, I realize it's, it's time to receive not just give, 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 because by just giving, I'm also just taking. And I'm not letting other people support me and feel those emotions, that gratitude that comes with being of service, with that comes with being able to help someone. And I've also noticed it's created a lot of disconnection during my training and then my numerology tells me <laughs> that I am a very detached person and I am I always thought okay well I'm being connected I'm trying but it's not about trying it is like Yoda says either you do or you do not there is no try or is that karate kid I don't remember but it's true you don't try you just do or you don't and if I'm completely honest I was not allowing it I was not allowing the assistance of other people I was not allowing assistance from my family I was not I have not excuse me and now I need to change that I get to change that because now I'm at an age where I can understand the importance of it. I could sit here and make a whole video, a 10 minute video telling you to accept help. So now I know that that younger version of me, I'm taking care of her. I'm taking care of her because she now knows that she could help because she's me and I'm taking care of future me because this is not where I want to be. I want to keep leveling up 
And to do that, I need to change. And I need to accept the things. <clears throat> Sometimes I get frustrated or, you know, whatever, whatever might happen. It could be something emotional. And it doesn't always have to be something negative. <clears throat> That's just how disconnected I've been. That even for things that are positive, I don't have this. Let me share with you. I did this. It, it takes a lot for me to... To be that, usually it's like, all right, cool. Things went good, awesome. Of course they went good. I did it. I pushed myself hard to do that. I accomplished that. But there's that satisfaction of sharing with people and saying like, yo, we came together and we did this. I don't really get that. I get it from work because now I'm working as a team and Maybe that's why for so long I've been such a workaholic. It's because I was missing that part. And I hadn't connected the dots where now that I know this, and every time we have a moment when we realize something, it's because it's time. And now that we acknowledge it, now that I know it, that I understand it, it's my responsibility to do something about it. Nobody else could do anything about it for me. It's up to me. So with that said, I'm committed to sharing, to accepting people's feedback. Did you guys, my video, my tia, my tia Socorro, my tia Chelo, my dad, they replied and it was so beautiful even a stranger and it felt so nice it felt good because they're part of me and I'm part of them and we're all connected and when we could be connected and be in appreciation and in gratitude and loving that's powerful that's powerful and it's amazing because then you feel joy, you feel happiness, you feel excitement. <laughs> like, and that's who I get to be now. I get to be my contract. And by that, what I mean is I get to be what I say I was created to be here and create. I decided that. Because I know, I know that that's who I truly am. I'm loving, I'm grateful, I'm powerful, I'm a leader. And I get to own that. I get to own that and lead with it and live with it and embrace it and become it. So yeah, expect a video from me on Sundays. Also, um, I am starting to study again. I'm planning on getting back to school. I'm planning on doing a lot of stuff. I mostly wanna do things that are gonna bring back to our community. So with that said, I want to encourage you, if you have kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids, whatever it might be, when you're out, when you're out with other children that are complete strangers, make them feel welcome, make them feel appreciated, make them feel seen, and it doesn't have to be something over the top or something big or something. It, it could literally just be a smile. Just acknowledging a little human as a human, as part of this, as part of our experience. <clears throat> One thing I remember as a kid, I never wanted to be a kid because as a kid, I felt like I had no voice. 
I felt like my opinions didn't matter. I felt like I blamed everything on being a child. They don't listen to me because I'm small and I'm, I'm a kid. They, I don't get to have an opinion because I'm a kid. And I used to really, really dislike being a kid. And now I love being a kid. <laughs> As, as you could tell, right? Now I love... I love that version of me. I love the child in me. And I'm always, always, always going to work with her. I'm always going to be connected to her. And now I'm always going to embrace her as well. And it feels really amazing. And again, this is just like one step because I'm just going to keep going up. I'm just going to keep working on myself. And I invite you to work on yourself, however that might look like because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to that five-year-old version of you the three-year-old version of you the 10-year-old version of you the teenager the irouse age version of you if you're older or if you're younger i owe it to my future self as well I owe it to Grandma Irel. I owe it to Great Grandma Irel. I owe it to Gray Hair Irel. I know salt and pepper is cool, but I really just want to be salty. <laughs> I'm totally going to own having white hair when I do. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for spending the last almost 20 minutes with me. I appreciate you. I'm reading a bunch of books, so I'm probably gonna be talking about that too. Anything that really stands out, I'll make sure to share it. But in the meantime, like I said, I invite you to just acknowledge, acknowledge children for who they are, their light, their creation just like you and I. Have a wonderful evening. I love you. And palante.